So apparently there have been eight to 10 feet tall Nephilim spotted in Miami, January 2nd, 2024, just this year. I don't know if you guys have heard that. Uh, now I'm gonna keep my portion short because I want you guys to hear from two people. One person was there, hear from this person. The second person, the other person is more important, okay? This is Celestial from the Master's Voice Prophecy blog. I'm gonna show you guys her YouTube channel. I want you guys to follow her. I really believe she is a woman of God. She has the uh, anointing of the prophets of old in the, in, in the Old Testament. The scripture says, God warned us that when before Jesus comes, because Jesus is coming again for his church, that the days will be as they were in the days of Noah. This is scripture. This is something like every Christian or most Christians know this, right? In the days of Noah, there were giants walking around. There were Nephilim. Nephilim are hybrid beings. They are beings that come from human women who slept with angels. Angels. There are books that the Catholic Church took out of the Bible. The book of Enoch is one of them. I have the book of Enoch. It took me a minute to realize what was happening in it. At first when I got it, I did not believe. Like, what the heck is this? I didn't believe it. But then it took me some studying to actually figure out, like, okay, this is legitimate information. It aligns with the scripture that is so-called canon that we all have in our Bible. Long story short, people... Jesus Christ is Lord. We need to have our spirit man ready. If you're a Christian, you need to be in your Bible. You need to be fasting, praying, consecrating unto the Lord. We all need to be evaluating our lives and examining ourselves to see if we even be in the faith. It is time for us to get back to consecration. It is time for us to cry loud and spare not. It is time for us who have been quiet to, to speak the word of God with boldness and live a lifestyle that is pleasing to God. To stop the sin in our lives. To stop compromising. Story, two stories are being told. Teenagers at the mall fighting with sticks and firecrackers. The other story are eight foot beings that were chasing people down, disappearing and reappearing. So, which story will you believe? The Miami the, the, this, this dispatch over 100 police cars. They shut down the airport. They shut down the power to 30% of uh, residents' homes. They turned off the police scanner. Which of those two stories do you believe that amount of attention is going to be for? Hashtag it in Twitter, now call X. Meantime, listen to this prophecy from her and hear the video of one of the guys that was there, one of the very few that are showing that that was actually there. He sounds credible. You can kind of tell when people are lying. Give Celestial a follow on the Master's Voice Prophecy. I will show you her information in the video. Hello again and welcome to the Master's Voice. I am Celestial and you are welcome to this channel. To old and new subscribers alike, you are very welcome. Please adjust your settings above and below. And today I am going to be continuing with the Nephilim series, the Fallen series, the Alien series that I will simply give the title, the Supernatural, the Fallen playlist when I am done making enough of these videos. And the prophecy for today is called What I Saw Today. Now this message is a full two years old. I received it on January the 26th, 2020. So that's basically two years ago. And it details some very startling things that the Lord showed me in visions while I was awake. I had just come home from church and I was just um, pouring out to the Lord out of the effusiveness of my heart, how happy I am to be his child, how much I love him. And the Lord began to show me things that, sh that certainly did not match up with the things that I was saying. And so the Lord told me before I started this video and I'm going to deliver this word, the Lord said, that the reason that the Nephilim will come back is because of the increase of sin and wickedness upon the earth. And so he said that these creatures, he said the Nephilim will come back because of how fallen and evil humanity is. Humanity is 
so far departed from the ways of God and the laws of God that he said, the Nephilim shall be the punishment to a fallen and sinful people. He said, because people do not believe in the word of God and because people are so sinful, these creatures will return to the earth as a punishment, as a last day's punishment to sinful and depraved people. So if you have ever wondered why on earth a loving God, as God is always described by people who do not know his true nature, which is that he is love, but also justice, fairness, and many other things, not just love by itself. If people have ever wondered why a loving God would allow these creatures to come back and destroy the earth, ra earth ravage the earth, as they certainly will, it is because of the increase of sin, abomination, and wickedness. Basically, this earth has been spoiled. And even though these things kind of stretch the edges of the fabric of faith, the truth of the matter is, is that we already know from the book of, I think, Second Peter, that it says that this entire earth has been reserved for destruction by fire. Now, we know that fire is a whole lot more painful than water. And so why would Christians in the modern era who are supposed to know their Bible and know that the Bible says that the entire earth is reserved to be destroyed by fire? fire, meaning that this earth will be burnt up like a sheet in a fireplace. Why should it be um, surprising to us to know that the reason that God would choose such a violent end for this earth is because it would have become so dilapidated, so craven, so fallen, so totally given over to the expression of every conceivable form of wickedness that you can think of that by the time the Lord Jesus comes, he even has to, has to ask in the scripture, will I even find faith upon the earth? These are so since nobody's going to talk about it, I figured, you know, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was, uh, I was down in Miami for uh, the new year's, you know what I'm saying? Me and my girl, I got a little time share. We was down there on a home, um, like a mini vacay, you know, just to start the new year's off. Right. So anyway, we had, we happened to be at that mall. So, um, we had Foot Lock or whatever. Next thing you know, you start hearing all this commotion outside, sound like fire, like firecrackers or something. So, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I grab a close. I'm like, yo, we about to get up out of here, cause I, you know, I originally thought that they were shooting. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, some type of um, gunfight had broke out, whatever the case is, cause you know we're not familiar with Miami, we're not familiar with the city. So I'm like, damn, I ain't even got my blick. So you know what I'm saying? We about to, we about to, we about to swerve. Next thing I know, it's like crazy. Like we just see all these people running, like you know, uh, fat, fat, fat chicks. You know, old ladies, like, I'm talking about moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, old people even move. I'm talking about moving. So, you know, my girl, she's like, what's going on? I'm like, fuck all that. We out. Like, I'm not going to ask no questions. We just going to follow the crowd. Next thing you know, you know, real, like, gunshots start going off. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to we trying to follow the, follow the crowd, get out of there. I look back. I look back. No cap, yo. No cap. I look back. It looked like, like, like a big ass shadow, but it was solid at the same time. Like a few, like a few shadows, but they were solid at the same time. And it, it almost looked like they was coming our direction, like they was chasing us, but they was disappearing and reappearing closer. So I'm like, yo, what? So we start really moving. Next thing you know, we start hearing more gunshots. Like these dudes start firing at this shit. Get outside, mad police, all that. You know what I'm saying? They start, the police is like trying to get all the people that ran out the mall. They like trying to like um, detain these people, whatever. But you know, me and my girl, we ended up just, you know, s s sliding past all that and everything like that. But you know, a lot of people saying, why didn't nobody film and all that? When that type of shit is going on, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, like some paranormal, nobody thinking about no phone. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going survival mode. But for real, for real, they lying, yo. It was they, they all them all them officers and all that. They was not there because of um, no kids fighting. It was really some. It was really some like movie shit going on in there, yo. So you know, that's what it was, yo. Finally, I, finally, I want to say, Jesus Christ is Lord. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but He has given us us the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and a sound mind. Perfect love casts out all fear. The only way to have perfect love in you is to understand and know the Word of God. Put the Word of God in you so that He can give you peace that passes all understanding. When Jesus Christ rose from the dead, he rose to all power and authority in his hand. He has given that to the church. The church has not been walking in it. Do you want to walk in it? I want to walk in it. We have got to consecrate our lives and make sure that we are living for the Lord. Okay? No fear.